Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube Tech Guy. Hey guys, so welcome to another episode of Mobile Weekly slash Mobile Q&A. We go over all the latest news that happened during the week of mobile and answer your questions live. Now, we did start off a little bit late today and I do apologize for that, but I just had to pick up something at FedEx. So, yeah. This will be unboxed tonight and it will be uploaded tomorrow morning. So we'll get to test them out, the AKG headphones, and we will start doing all of our tests on the 512 version of the Galaxy Note 9. Benchmarks coming tomorrow as well. Lots of stuff coming, so yeah, should be a lot of fun. All right guys, so go ahead and start asking your questions in the comment section down below. And let's start off the show with Four leaks of phones. Uh, a lot of phones have leaked uh, over this week. Uh, so let's go over all of them. Uh, first off, probably the biggest one I would say that um, is really curious on how it's going to turn out. And that is the LG V40. Now, this is a really good looking phone. And it is the first one from a mainstream one. I wouldn't call Huawei mainstream, at least on the US yet but from a mainstream manufacturer that is giving us a triple camera setup. That is pretty awesome. Overall, I'm really looking forward to this phone. I honestly am very excited. Um, I do see that they are having a notch. However, even in their promotional material, they are blocking it out. <laughs> they, they like, they know we are going to block this out. Ain't nobody gonna know we have a notch. Uh, it probably just was too late uh, for it all. So yeah. Just know that the LG V40 is coming out. I'm really curious about this phone. I think it has a strong, strong contender to be one of the best smartphones of the year. It looks like it's gonna have a big battery, nice big screen, a lot of things going for it. Uh, not too big of a chin, uh, but overall just really interested to see how it all plays out. Let me know, by the way, which is your favorite phone out of these four and which one could you see yourself maybe getting? All right, now the second one has been leaked up and down. I think we literally have five separate leaks for this phone at this point, and it is the Pixel XL or 3XL. This phone has been leaked like crazy. That notch is the only thing bigger than the leak. I mean, it's just, it is horrible. This notch is just horrible, horrible, horrible. And I know people want to believe that this is all fake, and it could be, I mean, if it's fake, they are doing a really good job because this has gone viral. Uh, honestly, it really, it really is just like, it's so far out there. Let me put it this way. People are selling the Pixel 3 XL right now for $2,000 on the black market. I know a guy, you know, but no, uh, it's just, it's, it's in another country. Uh, but overall, that's how much this phone has gotten out. That it is already for sale on the black market. Um, so yeah, just, I don't know. I don't know. Um, overall, with the Pixel 3 XL, we are going to have a full video on it. Uh, because, man, that notch is hideous. But those photos are amazing. Yes, we already have sample photos from it. So we'll go into that in a second, one with the rest of the news. And then we have the OnePlus 6T. Now, this design comes from its parent company, Oppo. And honestly, this is a notch that's at least not that bad, to be quite honest. It's a very narrow notch, and you're gonna see this in another phone from Huawei in a second, but that is a really not bad notch. I, I like this notch a lot more. If you're, going, if you're going to have a notch, if we need to have a notch, which I don't like, but if we have one, this isn't as bad, at least as the rest. OnePlus 6T looks like it could be a very interesting phone coming up just because OnePlus 6 is so great. So I'd be very interested in the OnePlus 6T and see what it has to offer. And then finally, we have our last phone, which is a very interesting design on the rear, and that is the Mate 20 Pro. Now we don't expect this phone till later in the year, but this is a new quad cam or sorry triple camera setup on the back with a flash kind of like an l-shaped triple camera with uh the last corner being the flash i'm really curious about this phone it's not a bad design it's just very different 
Um, very curious to hear you guys' thoughts on it. What do you guys think uh, the notch is the same as the OnePlus 6T will be? So it's a, it's a minimal notch as well. Overall, I'm kind of interested in this phone. Remember, this phone definitely has the ability to be a number one phone of the year too, uh, just because the, the Mate, the Mate 10 Pro, I was so impressed with. It needed help on the camera, yes, but the P20 Plus has been talked about as one of the best cameras of the year. So because of that, that was the only thing, and the UI is garb, not my favorite, let's just say. Uh, but I would definitely put, you know, um, Andro uh, Nova on there to really solve that issue. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. I am interested. I'm very interested in this design. All right, now let's get to the rest of the news for you guys. So the first bit of news on some of these leaked phones, now we have some of the details. The Pixel 3 XL is confirmed to have wireless charging, which is a really big relief. Uh, this is one thing that I'm very happy with. Uh, that yes, we saw uh, a video on Twitter basically that showed that yes, it does indeed have wireless charging, which I am very, very happy with that. Uh, it's something that I definitely have wanted in all my flagships. It's one of the main things I don't like about the OnePlus 6. So I'm very, very, very happy that it has that. Hopefully more smartphones will just realize that this is a great feature to have on all of them. However, I'm still very curious on how quickly the Note 9 can fast charge on that charger that video is coming this weekend for sure. All right. In other news, we also have the OnePlus, uh, sorry, the OnePlus, the Google Pixel 3 XL's sample photos. These are ridiculous. Like these are insane when it comes to photo quality. Like just the look of these photos look absolutely amazing with crisp and detail. Like the HDR effect that Google is known for. He's on a whole nother level with this. I mean, this is just insane if it really comes from a smartphone. Again, these are leaks, so we don't know, but if this is coming from a smartphone, that is pretty insane. Let me know what you guys think, because um, these photos are absolutely amazing. These would definitely make me want to get a Pixel 3. Again, I will not be getting an XL this year because that notch is atrocious, but the Pixel 3 will be $200 less and have the same camera. Yes? Uh, but yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comment section. These photos are just absolutely killer. Uh, but yeah, very curious to hear your guys' thoughts. Again, we will do a full video on the Pixel 3 XL because we need to this weekend. Um, and then the V40 uh, has been tipped for two things. So one, the V40 will be coming out this year and it looks like it could be as late as November 16th. I don't know, that seems very far. Like why that late i would say late october if anything else maybe they're maybe they just really want to get away from all the other smartphones september like august is owned by the note september is owned by iphone october is owned by the pixel now maybe lg just wants to get out of the way of everyone else but for me the 16th is so late like you need to go the first week of november if you're going to go november but let me know what you guys think uh i think it's i think that's the idea behind this that you want to push it back but yeah that's 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 what i'm thinking um what else um it will have a notch oh and uh also in this same leak uh, we have gotten information that the v40 will be this year's phone so the end of this year's phone however at the beginning of next year will be the v45 it'll take a lot of the aspects of the v40 but add one important thing and that is 5g so yeah, that's kind of interesting to kind of know that already going in because then it's like, well, should you get the V40 or should you wait for the V45 since that'll have 5G and come out maybe three months later, four months later? What do you guys think? Let me know. All right, and then this is the other picture, sorry, my contact's really messing up, of the Mate 20. So again, same kind of notch that we saw earlier on the OnePlus, uh, on the OnePlus 6T. And overall, good design. It has a headphone jack too. So yeah, very interesting. Let me know again what you guys think. Uh, bigger chin at the bottom, yes. But again, I like at least that we're getting rid of the notch slowly but surely. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Also on the OnePlus 6T, the big news about it, of course, is the fact that it might finally be with a carrier which would be insane. 
it might be with T-Mobile. And I think this would be a big coup for both of them. Obviously for OnePlus, it's never had a carrier, so that's really big for them. But also I think it would be a coup for T-Mobile to really have one of the best phones out there for the price and be the exclusive carrier for it. I think this would really disrupt AT&T and Verizon during the holiday season. And good job if they get it. I mean, if you really think about it, you're talking about a phone that's $600 at most and T-Mobile will sell it. And it, it has flagship qualities. Like this is so good for everyone and consumers wise, because now you will actually get to have that phone in payments too, which again, is just really great. So let me know what you guys think. Sorry, my contact is really messing up. Okay, uh, pretty big news uh, overall for Samsung, and that is that uh, China has replaced America as the top seller right now in uh, in market share. So, uh, or sorry, in not market share, in the market. So, always Samsung has been the biggest seller. It's made its most money from America. Now, it's actually China. And this is really interesting because uh, when I have talked to people at Samsung, they say that uh, certain countries like China and Japan do not see uh, a Korean brand as high end. They see it as lower beneath them, especially in Japan more so, but maybe not in China as much. Again, I do not know the culture. I, I am ignorant to that, but it's really interesting because it's grown now in China and it's starting to match up with the Chinese makers as well. Not on the same scale, but it's gained so much market share with their A-series smartphones, the A6, the A8, the A4, all the A-series that come out in China. They're really great mid-rangers for Samsung. They even have a camera button. I mean, they have just a lot of cool features. I wish they would, I wish they would bring those more to the US, but they really do well in China. And because of that, it's actually bigger in China than it is in the US now. And I think that's very curious because you always have to see, well, where are they going to uh, make their most money and where are they gonna use their resources towards the most? And it looks like they're doing fairly well in China. So it's curious to see if Samsung will shift a little bit in terms of how much it tries in the US compared to how much it tries in China. Also, the Note 9 pre-orders outperformed the Galaxy S9. Now, that is important to note. So it it has sold more than the S9 for pre-orders, which is insane because that has never happened. The Note series is not the high is not the high selling series, it's the high end series, meaning that it doesn't sell the most, but what it does do very well is that it makes sure you have the best uh, average price per phone or average uh, average phone price. Uh, so yeah, that, that's the main thing that it's there for. But now it's actually outselling the S9 because the S9 didn't sell that well. It's not outselling the Note 8, to be fair. But again, the Note 8 was a, a two year gap essentially of notes. You had no one that was able to get the Note 7. You had everyone on the Note 5. So you had literally two years worth of Note users vying for the Note 8. So I can see why it didn't pass the Note 8. However, still, for the Note 9 to outsell the Note 8 with higher priced phones is still pretty incredible. Not only that, but in certain countries, the Note 9 is far outselling the Note 9 uh, with the lower cost version. So in Korea, for instance, more than 50% of the purchases were made of the 512 gig storage. So more people are buying higher storage like me uh, also more RAM uh, than they are the regular one in Korea total. Uh, in the US, this has been really outstanding as well. If you actually go to samsung.com right now and try to order a 512 uh, Samsung Note 9, you are getting dates as far back as uh, end of September right now to get a 512 version. Now granted, everyone was surprised, including Samsung, of how much people wanted the 512 storage. They did not make as many. Carriers did not order as many because they did not think people would want the 512 more than the 128. But the numbers are showing otherwise. People actually want to get more storage. Now this does worry me a little bit, to be quite honest, because 
With the iPhone and the Note 9, we have now told manufacturers that we're okay with paying more than $1,000 for a smartphone. And that can be kind of scary because if this continues, that can get out of control very quickly. Uh, but I do think, especially in the US, because we pay monthly payments, I said this with the iPhone 10, that people don't notice it as a $1,000 smartphone. They just notice it as, oh, I'm paying 10 bucks more a month. I'm paying five bucks more a month. I'm paying eight bucks more. That's how people see it as. They don't say, I see it, I am buying a thousand dollar smartphone. They are saying, I am spending 10 bucks to 15 bucks more, maybe for a smartphone, than I used to. Let me know what you guys think about that because I think it can be a worrisome precedent. But in the US, around the world, it looks like the 512 is actually way outperforming Samsung's expectations and everyone's expectations. So you could see a bigger profit with less phone sales. But what could happen, it looks like at this point with the Note, is that if the Pixel doesn't do well, even if the iPhone does well, that's a different market. Remember, if the Pixel doesn't do well, if the V40 doesn't do well, if none of the other Android really kicks off at the end of the year, the Note could have no contenders uh, and consumers might buy it. And that would be very interesting because they are buying the higher price point phone which is better, but it's just interesting to think about. Let me know your guys' thoughts on all of this in the comment section. All right, uh, two other things, and uh, we are finishing up with Samsung. So Samsung is finally, finally going to have a successor to the 18, or sorry, the Samsung View that was available on Wi-Fi or AT&T. Now, if you don't know the View, the View was the 18.4 inch uh, tablet per se. It was a basically a big, big tablet uh, that you could watch TV on. Direct TV was the main thing that AT&T was pitching for it. Um, and it looks like it could be making a successor finally, and it could be coming to AT&T. Now, um, we don't know too much about this. It is rumored right now it would be a 17 inch, so smaller than the 18.4. It would have a better hinge. It would charge through type C, which was one of my biggest complaints about the view that it had a special charger. You couldn't charge it with a type C cable so, or, or even a micro USB. So this one will have a uh, USB. And so yeah, I'm really kind of curious to see how this goes. Its specs aren't the greatest, to be honest. It 1080p display, three gigs of RAM. Uh, it won't even uh, support DeX, it doesn't look like. It doesn't come with the stylus. So yeah, so at, at least basically, it doesn't seem that overwhelming in terms of specs, but if you just want a big kind of portable TV, especially compared to what TV is now. TV now is not, you know, cable TV. It's this. It's this right here. This is what our TV for, for most people is nowadays. Your Netflix, your Hulu, your YouTube. This is what people care about. This is what they want to see when they're in the kitchen or a bathtub or anything like that. Uh, you know, we had the TL, uh, sorry, TCL tablet in our kitchen for a long time. We just moved it out because we are moving in the, um, the view, or sorry, not the view, the... What is the thing we unboxed last time? Uh, the Lenovo Smart Display. The, the Lenovo Smart Display uh, has moved into our kitchen, so that's now our thing. It has its pros and cons. I'm doing, I'm working on the review for that, but I could definitely see where a tablet like this comes in handy, especially because Samsung has that feature that a lot of you guys didn't know about last time, where you can mirror your TV to your phone or your TV to your tablet. So you can literally be, you know, in the kitchen or on the grill, right? While a game is on or while a TV show is on and you don't miss it when you go into the kitchen or or go to your grill because you still have the TV playing there. So that's pretty awesome. It's it's like mirroring your TV onto your tablet and it's a really big tablet. So yeah, uh, I think it has a lot of potential. Um, I, I, would, I would expect a, low, a little bit of lower price, but we'll see how it goes. I wish it was an OLED display, but I know it's not going to be for the cost. All right, and then finally, we have uh, the first potential colors for the Galaxy S10. Of course, we had to end on that. The Galaxy S10 looks like it could be these colors. These are the candidates right now that Samsung is apparently thinking of, and that is black, white, silver, pink, and the all-important green. Samsung, make it green. All right, uh, I, I really just want a green one. I would say green, black, and and pink 
have those three colors in the US and they will sell like crazy. I think those are the colors you should go with Samsung. Don't think about it, just do it. Just do it. Black, green, pink. Do it, print money. All right guys, that is all the news that we have this week. Uh, let me know again, what are you most curious about and what color do you want your S10 to be? Let me know in the comment section. All right guys, now we are going to get started with your questions. Again, if you haven't asked your question yet, ask in the comment section down below and I will answer it before the end of the show. Those my contacts don't drive me crazy. All right, my new note arrived today. Color, color me impressed, nice. Uh, first rate vid, thank you, uh, sir. We'll catch replay tomorrow. Thank you, I appreciate that, Tank. Um, got mine too. Thought I'd uh, thought it weighed more, uh, but it didn't seem uh, much different. Nice. Um, I have used the Note 9 for a few days ago, my Note 9 512 uh, version, but there are some that uh, I'm not satisfied with like the S Pen build quality than the Note uh, than the Note 8 S Pen. Really, do you th think it's not as good? I never really experienced too many issues when I used it. But let me know what you what what are your exact uh, complaints on the build quality? Do you feel it, it feels cheap? It feels more plasticky. What what do you think? Uh, all I need is the Tab S4 8.4. That's all I need. That would be good. That would be great. Uh, Really, Samsung isn't making high-end small tablets. They only are making the bigger ones. Uh, photo comparisons, can't wait. Photo comparisons will start this weekend and end next week. So those are coming, especially to the Pixel uh, 2XL and the iPhone. Those are coming, all that's coming soon. Got my note today, woohoo, awesome, congratulations. Battery life is pretty good, uh, but not as good as I expected. How many days for your note lifespan on a single charge? Two days? Uh, again, well, I'm going to put it through the battery test tomorrow, actually. Tomorrow will be the first day I drain this phone all the way down. It's going to be a heavy use day. I'm going to do everything I need to, uh, definitely. Um, let's see. LG with the false advertising about the notch. I know, they're trying to hide that notch. Uh, Woohoo, that AKG headphones. Yeah, I'm really curious to see how these uh, headphones pan out. Um, overall, they look kind of interesting, um, but yeah, I, I don't think I've had over-the-ear the, over AKG headphones. I'm really kind of curious to see how they feel. Same company as Harman Kardon and JBL, which Har uh, the JBL Everest are really well rated. I don't think I've ever tested Harman Kardon headphones yet. Uh, it says Friday, August 17th in Russian. Oh! Which one? Oh, the, um, the Pixel? Interesting. Uh, that notch though. Um, I went to my contacts on my AT&T Note 8 and I still can't figure out how to change the notifications for a specific contact. Possibly can you make a video, uh, let me know how. How to change the notification for a specific contact. I think the notification you can only change in the text messaging app, not in the, uh, that's what we discovered with the Note 9. You could change it in the text messaging app, not in context. So you can't do it under context. You go into text messaging and then change it from there. Uh, I love your video. Thank you, Captain America. Thank you. I I, I always try to press Steve Rogers. Uh, T-Mobile, uh, US T-Mobile, tell me uh, I get the LG G7 for 280 out the door. Should I get it or the S9? I mean, you're not gonna get the S9 for anywhere near that price. That is an amazing price for 280. Um, it's 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 a case scenario in terms of good for the price or good overall. Um, I would say the S9 is going to be better than the G7. However, the G7 for that price is absolutely the best phone you can get for 280. Uh, so there, take take that uh, to what you would like it to be. Uh, are the Pixel photos? Um, I'm seeing online uh, legitimate. Here's the thing. It has been taken, like I said, I think that we're on the, the fifth or sixth leak of the Pixel 3 XL. So yes, at this point I would have to say it's legitimate. They're all from different people, they're different countries. It's, it's happening in so many different parts that I would have to say yes, they are legitimate at this point and everything has matched. 
So if it's some crazy thing where uh, they are trolling us and it's fake news or whatever, amazing Google. But uh, for me, that is a risky maneuver because everyone that has seen these photos has not liked it. So if this was fake, it would be stupid because in the long run, people don't like the look of this phone and they might be buying another phone because they don't like the look of this phone. Like I, I have legit had people tell me on my Pixel 3 video uh, in the, over this past week, I was going to get this phone, but after seeing how it looked, I went with the Note 9 instead. That That is things that people have said on my channel. So because of that, that would prove that this was not a good idea for Google to do in the long run. Uh, T-Mobile uh, with will have the OnePlus 6T, that's what it looks like. Do you know any apps to change my fonts on the Note 8 without rooting? Uh, yeah, you can actually get different fonts for your Note 8 from the Galaxy App Store. The Galaxy App Store, Samsung Store, has different fonts for their phone. So yes, you can download them. Um, I, uh, where are we? iPod can work on Android phones. I don't know what you mean by iPod can work on Android phones. Apple Music can work on Android phones. Um, or is that in response to something someone else said that I missed maybe? I don't know. Um, should I wait for the Pixel 3 XL or go for the Note 9? Worried about the lag uh, in the long term. What do you mean by the lag? Because I'll tell you what, if the Pixel 3 XL, again, this, we're going to talk about this on a video more so, but if the Pixel 3 XL is four gigs of RAM, it's unexcusable. That, that's not excusable for a flagship price. Like it better be a $500 smartphone for four gigs of RAM. Um, but yeah, yeah, I just stand to it. The essential phone is pretty cheap now. Yes, it is. I think it's gone down to like 230, which I will tell you, it's not a good camera. It's, it's not a good camera. Um, I know they said they improved it and I'll, I'm on Android P on the essential phone. I have the latest updates, uh, but it's not a good camera. Great phone otherwise, speed fast, everything moves great, but just it's not a good camera. So know that about the essential phone going in. Um, teardrop notch is nice uh, to look at. Yeah, it's better definitely. Apple Car is going to be big. Uh, Apple Car is five years away at the earliest, if that is true. Uh, they, they are so just not even close. Uh, they would literally, to the only way to get it closer than five years, I would say for Apple is if they buy a car company. And then it would still be like three years. Uh, but yeah, that's not, that's not, I mean, Apple's been talked about getting in the car business for years and years and years. But you can see even if a company does very well and has innovative ideas like Tesla, uh, it's, it's hard just from a production standpoint. Uh, and Apple doesn't make anything. So yeah, they would have to buy a company at the very least. Uh, Pixel 3 has a big chin um, and eyes uh, with the mouth. <laughs> there you go. Um, is the new Samsung charger faster or is it just a gimmick to charge the phone and a watch? I will be testing that this weekend. Um, the Honor 7X or the Xiaomi Redmi uh, Note 5 Global 3 gig RAM, 32 gig storage. Which one? Uh, which one to buy? I live in the Caribbean. Uh, I will be going to the Caribbean uh, coming up in uh, what uh, November for with my family on a cruise. Um, the 7X is the only one I've tested. I've not tested the Xiaomi Note 5. I've heard great things, but the Honor 7X is really amazing so amazing that we might be having a giveaway with honor phone soon should i have told you guys that ah who's gonna watch this um in your opinion how bad did sprint mess up the bed uh by not having 512 8 gig ram version of the i did not know they didn't have that i did not know that sprint did not have that version i mean to be honest sprint is on its way out <laughs> like i i I see Sprint as basically just like killing time right now. Uh, so yeah, that, that's honestly what I see Sprint as. Um, I'm sure those photos were taken with a, by a professional. Uh, the Galaxy S8 could take pics uh, in the right hands, absolutely. 
Uh, have you lost weight or, uh, and checked on your health? Um, I was last month. I was really into it. Uh, with all this searching for like a part-time job and all that kind of stuff, I have lagged on it definitely. Um, and yeah, I've just the part-time job and the Note Nine launch have taken all my time besides being with my family. Um, so much so that I'm not even doing anything for my birthday coming up. So yeah, it's like, uh, yeah. Um. When will the gear watch come out um, and will it be worth the buy? Uh, the gear watch is supposed to release on Friday. It's supposed to release on Friday. I have not gotten mine shipped yet, at least as of this morning. I've not checked it if that changed. Uh, but as of this morning, I did not get any kind of confirmation that mine is shipped. I did buy it on the same day that I bought everything else. So yeah, waiting. Um, when the uh yes uh i'm not down with the pixel gave up on google since the nexus 5 did switch and went to galaxy note bandwagon that's the best decision i've ever made uh since the blackberry bowl nice um apple announcement september 12th yes this, the announcement will be september 12th it will come it will pre-orders will be uh september 14th and when when is launch gonna be i forget Launch will be the 28th, I think. Uh, some people are saying the 21st or the 28th. I think it's going to be the 28th, uh, but we'll have to wait and see. Uh, but yeah, the Apple announcement will be Wednesday, September 12th, and then it will be pre-orders on Friday, uh, September 14th, and then come out either the 21st or the 28th. Uh, what if they use DSLR as well uh, to take those photos? I know, right? It it has been done before. Um, the essential phone ripoff, six hundred. Uh, that's a lot of money for a non-name phone. Yes, that's why I became completely them. Paco phone from Xiaomi, very cheap power spec. Yes, but it is only in India right now, or it's coming to India right now. We will see it possibly come to other markets like France, Italy, and other ones like that. But as of right now, no word on it ever coming to like the UK or the US. Um, it basically is going to be where Xiaomi phones are sold um, by carriers. Uh, so not, not the US for sure. Uh, but yeah, the Paco phone is insane. For those of you who don't know, it's under $500 and has a Snapdragon 845 processor and six gigs of RAM, I believe. Was it six gigs of RAM? I think it was six gigs of RAM. Uh, but just like really ridiculous high spec phone for under 500, it's just insane. Uh, my Bigsby isn't turning on when I say, hi Bigsby, uh, how can I fix the problem? And uh, I am in a quiet place when I say it, uh, it's a hit or miss. Maybe try saying what I say. Uh, instead of saying Bixby, I say Bigsby. Uh, and that worked for me. Bixby would not work for me, so I started saying Bigsby, and that worked every single time. Try that. I don't know if it just was me, but Bixby never worked for me. Um, I have a Note 8. Is it worth getting the Note 9 or wait for the Note 10? It depends. We have an entire video on that. The nine reasons to upgrade from the Note 8 to the Note 9. Uh, and see if those reasons make sense for you. Uh, but that is the best video to really dive in and see if it's worth it. If these nine reasons on why it's better are good enough for you, that would be the best decision uh, to kind of go with from there. But it, I would say for some people it is, for some people it isn't. If those nine features really are important to you, then that would be it. For me alone, the low light and the battery are worth it for me. But again, to each their own, everyone's different in that aspect. Um, uh, in my humble opinion, the notch on the Pixel 3 is the most hideous, awful, but ugly feature I've ever seen on a smartphone. Yuck. I, I'm, I don't disagree. <laughs> um... Uh, so some people are trying to help out Holiday uh, with his Bigsby issue. Uh, T-Mobile is charging around 500 for a down payment for the 512. I heard that. I, I bought mine outright um, just because I've learned over the past uh, year, you know, 
like once I've bought one phone outright, I I've started doing that. So that keeps my phone bill really low, which I like better. Uh, but yeah, it really is. Um, it really is a huge down payment for a smartphone. And I don't know why T-Mobile is doing that per se, but yeah, I don't know. Th that's, that's ridiculous to me. Uh, 1600 before tax on the Note 9 512. Where is that? Uh, where you say you buy it full price here, 1600 before. Where is that? Because that's that's a lot more. Oh, a whole bunch of questions just loaded. Everyone drink. Where are we? Ah, I feel like the S10 uh, will have 512 gigs as a standard. No, it won't. No, it won't. I will, Alex, I will bet you here and now, if you want, we'll make this public a public bet. I will bet you 50 bucks that the 512 gigs is not a standard on the S10. And honestly, you'd be crazy to take that bet. I, I, I will bet you right here and now, there's not a chance. There's not a chance. I know it's the 10th anniversary phone, but Samsung is not stupid. <laughs> like, it will not be, because they want to sell this phone. And the standard price, is going to be cheaper than the Note for the S10. I guarantee you that too. Uh, iOS 12 is so boring. YouTubers are talking about iOS 13. <laughs> yeah, I, I really don't see Apple doing much changes this year other than having a bigger screen phone and having more iPhone 10 style phones. That's what they're gonna do. Uh, well, over here, uh, down payment, uh, then monthly payments for the rest of the cost, yeah. Uh, when will the 512 uh, micro SD card be in stores? I have not heard an update on it. I can tell you that I did not see it on Samsung's website as of yesterday. Um, let's take a look at that. I will take a quick look at Samsung's website to see if the 512 gig storage has gone there yet. Uh, as far as I know, it, it did not the other day. Let's go ahead and sign in. I don't need to sign in, but whatever. I'm already doing it. All right, now let's look under mobile accessories first and I'll look under their uh, storage. Okay, so it's not under mobile accessories yet. Let's look under their regular storage. Two fifty six, two fifty six, newest. Nothing yet. So no, they do not have it yet. The, still, the highest one you can get is two fifty six currently right now on Samsung's uh, website. Um, I currently use the S seven Edge that I got for free. Before that, I used the Note three for about five years. Is it worth to move up to the Note 9? So, so far from what I hear, uh, it's a really good device. It's a great device, but again, it really depends on the person. I mean, if that S7 Edge is treating you great and you have no issues with it, why kind of mess that up? Yes, the, the Note 9 will be better in almost every single way compared to that S7 Edge, except you're gonna have to be paying money for it. So, I mean, you have to weigh all that out. It will have a way better battery. It's gonna have a way better camera. It's going to have a better display. It's, it's gonna have a lot of things that are better, but overall at the end of the day, it's up to you on if it's better for you. Um, the view is available at Best Buy. I saw it there yesterday. Yeah, uh, they still have it really. Um, I, I'm surprised they still have it for sale to be honest. Um, I thought you can only get it used now. Uh, let's see. T-Mobile giving away 12 months of Pandora plus uh, next week. Oh, that's cool. Looking forward to the LG V40, the uh, 6T, the Mate 20, and the Axon 9 Pro. I cut the Axon 9 Pro out because we had way too much news today. Uh, but yeah, that's going to be another interesting phone. I just wanted to have amazing speakers again. What's a good screen recording app? I use uh, Moziben, I think it's called, M-O-Z-I-B-E-N. Uh, I think that's how you spell it, but if you type in screen recorder, it's the top rated one and I, I've had no issues with it. They also give you a free trial too for the, uh, for the free version if you, uh, 
Basically the pro version will allow you to tweak things more and allow you to not have their watermark but have your own watermark and you get to try the premium version for like 15 days too. Um, will the Tab S4 ever update to Android P? Yes, but probably not this year. And I'm just being honest. Um, I want a red Galaxy X, but if I can't have that, I'll go with the green. Uh, how's the battery life uh, for the S9? The battery life for the S9 is good. I mean, I've, I've never had too many issues for it. It's not, it, I feel like the S9 battery life wasn't as good as my Note 8 at times. Uh, so, but the Note 9 from when I was testing it, again, only on Wi-Fi for the final build, but even the prototype, the, the battery life was really good. So yeah, I, I think it's really good all around. Um, hi Ricky, do you think Samsung should release the Note series and the S line around the same time to do the, uh, to do the fact when Qualcomm gives Samsung its processor earlier than the Note, uh, they are outdated? Um, I don't think so. Uh, because of the fact that you can dominate two points of the year then, uh, with this strategy, they sell phones, a lot of phones in March and they're the only player during that time and then they sell phones in August before the iPhone comes out. So it, as a business tool, I think two phones uh, two times a year is uh, the best strategy. Um, but yeah, I don't know, I, that, that's just me. I would keep them separate, but I understand the idea of having the Note come out, then it's just a great phone. But then you have to understand that other people might not do that. So then if the Note comes out early, the V50 might be way better because it comes out later and because it has more features. So those are things you have to kind of play around with. Um, can you do a quick speaker review uh, for sound difference between the S9 and the Note 9? Not on this video, but yeah, we will do a speaker comparison between the Note 9, the Note 8, the iPhone 10, all that stuff is coming next week. Um, I'll take a red S10. Um, let's see. I asked my son what color he thought uh, my phone was. He said midnight blue. I think it's really dark, a lot darker than I thought uh, it was going to be. Yeah, I know. If you see the note, uh, if you see uh, the notes blue and the blue from the S9, it is a completely different blue. So yeah, I would definitely say it's completely different. Are you getting the Galaxy Watch? And if you are, when are you going to review it? Uh, well, I don't know when I'm going to get it yet. I, I, I've ordered it. It should be coming Friday, but I have not heard anything from Samsung. Uh, so say if I get it Friday. If I get it Friday, then I should... I should have a review by next weekend, probably. I want at least a full week with it. Love your channel, keep the good work. Well, thank you, I appreciate that. Um, whoa, a whole bunch of questions just loaded. Everyone drink. The word is uh, we are not going to get the free AKG headphones for another eight weeks. That's why I always recommend ordering from Samsung. I, I really do. I got a T-Mobile phone and my headphones at the same time. Uh, but yeah, no, I honestly, I recommend you guys always order directly from Samsung if you can, uh, just because I, I would say it's probably the best way to order it because you're guaranteed to get the free stuff right away instead of waiting for it. And again, it's usually only a hundred thousand, uh, people to get these free things. So keep that in mind too. It's while supplies last, uh, which reminds me, I have to redeem my Fortnite stuff. Um, Apple car will have a notch visor. Oh, that's hilarious. Um, is there any way to hide WhatsApp preview? I hate it when it always pops up when watching a video or YouTube. Um, I don't use WhatsApp, so I'm not sure, but I, I would assume you can just disable the notifications or if not, check their settings to see if there's something you can disable. Um, what happened to your movie channel, Ricky? Oh, thank you for asking that, Omar. Uh, we actually brought the movie channel here. Uh, basically, most mainstream movies uh, I review still on this channel. Uh, it doesn't happen that often because it's only mainstream movies and I wanted to keep this channel predominantly tech. 
Uh, but yeah, uh, if you missed it, basically we did change the channel to technology, entertainment, uh, creating, and homes. So that, uh, because I have my real estate license, if I ever do a home video or how to do real estate kind of stuff, I would do one or two of those videos a year on this channel. And I am going to do more and more creating videos on this channel, like this amazing light that was sent to me by Aperture. I'm going to talk to you guys about that light. And then a portable light that I have over there that is a really amazing light. It can light up anything in low light perfectly. So yeah, gonna, uh, gonna do uh, some good stuff uh, coming up. Or yeah, so but yeah, so the next big movie I think that's gonna be coming out is like November, December. I think we're gonna be talking about Aquaman, Crimes of Grindelwald. Um, what else? Uh, only big movies though. That that's the whole idea. Like I did Avengers, I did Black Panther. You know, the big the big mainstream movie I did Han Solo. The big mainstream movies are the only ones I'm doing because again I want to keep this predominantly tech channel. But every once in a while, I definitely want to do still movie reviews because I like talking about movies. Um, how do I initiate a dual WhatsApp Facebook, uh, setup? Uh, it's in settings. Um, it's in settings. I'm on my S nine right now. Cloud and accounts. Nope. Under advanced features, dual messenger. There you go. Under advanced features, under settings, dual messenger. Um, high end Apple Watch uh, 4 may have micro LED. I don't think so, but we'll have to wait and see. I, I, I just don't think micro LED is ready. Uh, do you know why video settings for Fortnite uh, isn't showing up for my Note 9? No, I don't. I have not played Fortnite yet on my Note 9. I'm going to redeem the stuff and play it. So I will tell you once I get everything all set up. And we are going to do a gaming review. Gaming review should come out this weekend. And Fortnite will obviously be the first game on there. Uh, my birthday is September 15th. We should celebrate our birthdays. Yeah, my birthday is actually September 1st. It's uh, next weekend. Um, but for the first time ever, I'm, not, I, I'm always the person that celebrates birthday. But... Uh, with the part-time job on the weekend and everything like that, it's just like, I, I don't think I'm going to do anything this year. We'll see. Um, you are the man. Love your channel. Thank you, Brett. I appreciate it. Whoa, a whole bunch of questions just flooded. Everyone drink. I think we're on our third drink, guys. Um, the word is we are going to get free AKG headphones another eight weeks. Oh, yes. I talked about that already. AKG headphones uh, per reviewer have good active noise cancellation, decent sound, not great. Uh, well, I will judge on my own, but we'll see. Um, I think the new Galaxy Watch software will make the uh, will make it to. Oh, think the new Galaxy uh, Watch software will make it to the Gear Sport. I think it will have some updates, but not all of them. That's my guess. Uh, same thing would happen with the other one. Um, is there any way to? Oh. Oh, sorry. I, I, I said it's minutes already. Um, I just got the S9. How can I get uh, the video player? Uh, Galaxy App Store. It's under the Essential Galaxy Apps. But if you just search video player, it's the first thing that should come up. Uh, iPhone 2018 LCD may uh, use second two generation processors. Uh, yes, it may use uh, last year's processor from what we're hearing, but we'll have to wait and see how it all turns out. Um, I do not mind the notch on the Pixel X3 Pro. I'm in, um, I'm in love with it. Really? Oh, oh, props to you, man. If you love the notch on the Pixel 3 XL, awesome. Um, <laughs> Uh, hey Ricky, happy early birthday. Uh, have you reviewed Bluetooth headphones? Have you reviewed Bluetooth headphones the past few years? I need one. Do you have any recommendation? I, uh, I'm thinking Plantronics Explorer 500. Let me check these headphones so I can see what type of headphones you're looking for. Oh, that, that's a Bluetooth heads. Oh, headset, uh, not, not headphones. Um, 
yeah, I have not really reviewed headsets. I've only reviewed headphones, really. Um, I I'm testing out some amazing ones from Jabra. Honestly, guys, I'm a fan of Jabra headphones. They are, each ones I've tested have been better and better and better. I'm a fan. Uh, really have to see how these, uh, my, my, my favorite headphones, uh, you guys have heard it from me for a couple times now. My favorite current headphones are the True Wireless Jabra 65T uh, um, Active uh, headphones. They are under 200 bucks, I believe. Awesome headphones, the best out there in my opinion uh, for everything. They are my go-to headphones that I always keep with me in my bag. Um, hi Ricky, how's it going? Yeah, I can't wait for the V40. Uh, why get the new view over the old view? That's an interesting question. I mean, the new, the old view is outdated software and I'm hoping they bring a better screen, but we'll have to wait and see. Um, I got the Note 9 and the, uh, and the headphones today. I didn't care for the headphones after owning uh, Dre Beats. Okay, so not because Beats is what you're, in your opinion. Uh, so it's hard for me to stop using those unless uh, the Bose wireless headphones. I go with the Bose wireless headphones. I mean, there are ones that I would say that are also better, like Sennheiser makes some really good ones that I would choose over Beats personally. Uh, but yeah, I'll, I mean, you, high-end headphones are really good. What's coming after P for Android? Uh, what would... I, I had a brain in fire. Um, Q... Quiche? Quiche? Maybe? Um... Samsung needs to say goodbye to uh, Android Linux knockoff and go all the way with Tizen. Samsung experience in the S10. That will not happen. No chance in hell. Um, have you tried uh, Samsung's mesh uh, Wi-Fi systems? Um, no, I haven't. Um, I've heard good things about the newer one, although it's not available. I know they sent it to some YouTubers, uh, but the newer one's supposed to be a lot better. I have no issues with my mesh Wi-Fi uh, system that I got from uh, TP-Link, uh, but yeah, I don't know. Uh, you are the best. Thank you, David. I appreciate that. Uh, don't want to spoil it uh, if you didn't watch SummerSlam, but what do you think about Becky Lynch, uh, new attitude? Uh, I did watch SummerSlam and Becky Lynch is not a heel. Sorry, WWE. I know you get confused with this. You think Roman's a baby face and you think Becky Lynch is a heel. Swap those two around and you'll have a good program. Roman's a heel, Becky's a baby face. That's all I have to say about SummerSlam. Um, and the crowd agrees. Uh, Samsung really need to do better with their updates for tablets. No need uh, to spend so much on a tablet uh, with a little, yeah. I, I they, they need to do a better job overall with their updates, I agree. Especially security patches. I mean, come on, Samsung, that, that's just basic. Um, no Tyson phone, bad idea. I hope no one from Samsung is watching. Uh, no, they won't do that. Um, I ordered my free headset and I was told by Samsung that I would receive it uh, the week of September 3rd. Got it. So only two weeks basically after. Um, the only reason I upgraded from Best Buy is because I got, I get reward points. I got $500 gift cards. Uh, for getting my wife and my daughter an S9. Nice, congratulations for that. Uh, how can I get the Galaxy Watch through a carrier? Uh, they just released it for T-Mobile and I think uh, Verizon had the Galaxy Watch as well or was it someone else? But yeah, uh, T-Mobile can pre-order the Galaxy Watch now and I forgot what the other carrier was off the top of my head. Uh, has Big Zoom improved? Uh, not really from what I tested, but we are going to test it. And I really have to do a video on what Bigsby is for. Bigsby is not Google Assistant and it's not Siri. It's not, or it's not Alexa either. It, Bigsby is not good at answering questions. It's not. Bigsby is more to get things done and that's really how you should treat Bigsby. And I'll do a new video on Bigsby uh, for that. Um, Hi, I bought the Unlocked uh, 512 Note 9 uh, to use with Sprint only uh, for them to tell me it doesn't work on their service. They said the IMEI can't load to their system. Looks like I will jump ship. Uh, 
I really don't know if that's true, to be honest. I would get on, on the phone with Sprint's customer service because I think the Sprint people at the store just didn't know how to do it. But that's my thought process. Um, not sure, but that, that, that would be my thought process. Uh, what's your favorite case manufacturer? Oh, I don't know. I like Incipio cases. Uh, I like Spec. Um, Incipio Spec. I like some Otter boxes, not all of them, but I like some. Um, those are the top ones that come to mind. I mean, I play around with UAG. I play around with Ring Key. I play around with uh, some of the other ones, but those are the top ones that come to mind. If I if I get a case, even for a temporary phone, if I have like uh, for this one, for the essential phone. I wanted to get a temporary case for it, so I got the Incipio clear case, and it's awesome. It's like, it's exactly what I wanted for this phone before I give it away. Uh, so yeah, but it was perfect. I wanted a temporary case so I can give it uh, away with the case and to so I wouldn't mess up the phone while I had it. So yeah, that review has to come out soon, actually, now that I think about it. Got a lot of work to do. <laughs> I don't have much days off anymore, guys. Um, <laughs> Uh, are you going to get another Google Glass? I would love to get a Google Glass, but it's just far too expensive. Um, Jabra makes the best headsets, hands down. I've honestly fallen in love with uh, Jabra headsets. I really have. And I, I got some of their higher ones now, too. We're going to review them over the next three weeks. We have lots of headphones to review that I haven't gotten to, including the AKG ones. Uh, although, see, see, that's what happens. Like, There's like a great pair of Libertone headphones that I have that I wanted to review. Uh, again, I have, I have three nice Jabra headphones. One of them is going to be given in a giveaway for September. And so I have a lot of different headphones and I want to give some away, right? But it's like, okay, well, I got these AKG ones. This review has to go out like this weekend. So it has to jump in front of the line because this is what everyone wants to check out and see how good they are. So yeah. Um, life a reviewer. <laughs> Not complaining, but just a lot, a lot to do. Especially during launch. Unfortunately, I have the S9. I don't know uh, how to send good quality video. Text message, can you help me? Uh, yeah, we have an entire video on that. Take a look at the Note 9 video we just did on that. How to text message um, a video to an iPhone. Watch that video. It explains exactly how to do it. Using my headset now, ordering through Samsung always got screwed uh, when I did pre-order through T-Mobile. There you go. Um, great noise canceling, not loud uh, sound, but uh, can be can't be free. There you go. Of course, big speed. Uh, it gets shit done. <laughs> that should that should be that should be Samsung slogan. You're right, Alex. Big speed. It gets. Shit done um again a happy birthday i called sprint first and they said uh go to go to the store do you think i should try again i would try again if i was you uh if not switch switch to t-mobile sprint's going that way anyway uh but yeah um yeah you need to make that vid uh annoys me most tech youtubers know this uh but because of google fanboys uh same people who try to push stock android act like uh they're trying to be great what vid do i need to make what <laughs> which vid i was talking about i've talked about it making a lot of videos uh right now um i read somewhere that the unlocked s9 is gsm only no there is an s9 unlocked that is uh gsm and cdma um there are unlocked phones that are gsm only but not that one Happy birthday, by the way. I hope you get all the gadgets you want. Uh, no, uh, if you, as you can imagine, uh, no one really ever gets me electronics for my birthday. Why? Because, you know, they know I would want to pick out my electronics. It would be like, you know, I, I don't know. Um, my friend, my friend Richie that uh, is into drumming. It would be like picking out. Uh, it would be like picking out a drum set for him, or something like that. Like it would just, you know, it it wouldn't make sense. Uh, not a drum set, but like a drum accessory that I have no idea if he uses or not, or he has a better version of. 
Uh, so yeah, no one gets me electronics. Uh, the, the only thing I could think of that I've been wanting is like this Keurig thing. Uh, it's a really cool one. It's only on Amazon, but it like froths. Uh, it, it's like it's like 179 bucks. It's pretty expensive, uh, but this awesome, really cool thing that like it makes coffee and it froths um, uh, thing too. I tested it uh, for Keurig actually um, and like this uh, market research thing and I fell in love with it because like I could, I could, you know, I normally put half and half of my coffee, just to go on a little tangent, I normally put half and half of my coffee, but this froths up the half and half, so it's like a latte with half and half, which I don't know if they normally ever do, but it, it tastes awesome. Um, but yeah, uh, let's see. I like the purple Note 9, 5, 12. Haven't seen blue yet. Ah, I have the blue right here. I will be doing an unboxing tonight. It'll be up tomorrow, so you can see it then. Uh, review the June Smart Oven. What is the June Smart Oven? This looks expensive. I see, not currently available. Um Okay, it had a it had a part for it on M Amazon. It's not available. I mean that looks cool. Bye now. It sold out. So it is a $500 oven. I'm not sure how many views I would get for this. That is how I base mine, by the way. I base my stuff based on how many views I will get. So if it's worth it or to me or not. Um, I mean, I get it. It's like a slow cooker. It's like a broiler. It's like a dehydrator. It's a, okay. I mean, it has a lot of cool stuff. I still don't know if it's worth that price. Oh, that's it. It, it, it. it is really cool. I, I will give it that. But can I convince my wife I can buy it and takes up counter space in the kitchen? Hmm. Um, happy birthday. Thank you very much. Um, I meant the what, what Bigsby video. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes, I will do that. Yes, most YouTubers don't know how to use Bigsby. I do agree with that. Um, 179 cats for uh, first world problems. I know, I know, right? Uh, which is, uh, uh, which are you going to pick as your daily driver? S10, Note 10, or Galaxy F? I'll have to wait till I get there. Uh, I don't know. I, I can tell you if I would have the Galaxy F, it would be a daily driver. I don't know if it would be my primary or my secondary, but it would be a daily driver just because it would be cool to have, I, I do, it was such a cool thing when I had the Galaxy Note Edge. The Galaxy Note Edge, I would literally be at a Starbucks and people would come up to me and they'd be like, dude, what is that? What, what is that? And it would just be, it was so like a futuristic kind of thing that, uh, same with the original, not the Galaxy Watch, um, was it called the Gear Watch, I think? The very first Samsung smartwatch. When I would have that and I would be like, bam, look, take photos and all this cool stuff. It, it was, it was a, it was a conversation starter. Um, what bugs me is I have, uh, I have an unlocked note eight. Well, my wife does and it works fine on sprint and I will, uh, try another store before I send it back. Yeah, I understand. Um, I did trade in a uh, swap at S7 for 500 uh, from T-Mobile. Wait, what? You traded in, you did a trade in and swap an S7 for 500 credit from T-Mobile? Really? Oh wait. Oh wait, was that someone else? I don't know. Um, been mean to ask thoughts on magnetic mounts for phones. Seems like uh, they would cause damage. 
I don't like magnetic uh, mounts because I can't wirelessly charge. That's why. Like, I don't mind the magnetic mount being down here, but I hate any magnetic mount uh, there because obviously then I can't wirelessly charge. That's more important to me than mounting my phone. Any leaks on the regular Pixel 3? No, no real leaks on there yet. The watch you're wearing looks different. Oh, it's the Gear S2. I had to go back to the Gear S2 and it's a Back to the Future uh, clock. Can you see it? There you go. It's a Back to the Future clock style. So uh, yeah, it's a Gear S2 for now. Until I, I sold my Gear S3, get, I got put the Gear S2 back on and waiting for the Gear, Galaxy Watch. If I pre-order tomorrow, will I still be able to get the promo headphones? I don't know. I would definitely, if you pre-order tomorrow, pre-order from Samsung. Yes, pre-order from Samsung, definitely. In order to get the BOGO deal uh, on AT&T, do I have to activate both or can I just activate one? I think you have to activate both and one has to be a new activation, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, T-Mobile is going to offer today 500 credit for my Note 5. Wow, that is good. That is really good. That's, I mean, that's more than I'm getting. My Note, my Note 8 only gets me 400, 400, $450 for Samsung. That's really good if T-Mobile's giving you that much credit. That's awesome. Take it, take it now. Um, all right, guys, uh, we are running out of time. So I think that'll be the show uh, today. Again, a lot of videos coming. Uh, I got a long night ahead of me, lots of stuff to do. So yeah, should be a lot of fun. Thank you guys always so much for watching. I always appreciate it. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube tech guy. Thank you for watching our video. If you liked it, why don't you go ahead and subscribe up there. Make sure you follow us on social media right here. And of course, check out our latest video up there. And right down here, you're gonna find the perfect video for you. Or at least that's what YouTube tells me. Thanks again.